Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get into this, I'm gonna put the comment of the day up. And if you guys wanna take part in it, all you have to do is leave a comment and I randomly choose them for my new notifications. We're back with some Supernatural today. It has been a minute since I played this because I needed to furnish this home that we moved into. And this home is still not fully furnished because we don't have a lot of money. So it's not finished at all. So what you guys are about to see is not the finished product. It is just me putting some things down so that we have some sort of furniture in the house until we make some money. I also went ahead and gave her a makeover and she is giving me major Sarah vibes from the craft. I just wanted to give her a makeover because I felt like she was kind of the oddball and I don't know, I just wasn't really feeling her style and I am kind of obsessed with this little outfit that I have on her, but she's so, dang cute. So this is our house. I again went with the lights, the different color lights since we're in Halloween hideaway and I'm just like really loving doing this with my spooky households. Uh, but like I said, we're not anywhere near finished with this home. It is just having some furniture to have a place to sleep. Uh, so this is the main bedroom. I just put down a rug, a bed, and a couple of end tables. And then the girls room over here, we just have a bunk bed. I know it's really, really bad. And this little space over here, I went ahead and placed down a crib and then there's a crib over here. Um, so, you know, there's that. There's also a little potty chair. I recolored a couple of walls. I did a couple of things. I made the flooring darker. Again, this is not finished at all. I was just doing a few things. I plan on fixing this up the rest of the way when we have money, but we only have 3,000 simoleons. So uh, when you come downstairs, there's there's really nothing. There's really nothing. I put in a dining table so they have somewhere to eat. Um, and I went ahead and upgraded these appliances. The colors don't match because, you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, I'm probably going to redo the whole kitchen and everything. And then this little living space, I just put the alchemy station because we need an alchemy station and it is snowing. So I don't want them to do it outside. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's all I really did with this home so far. It's just, it's very empty. It's gonna, it's a work in progress, okay? We are kind of starting over, you know, we don't have a lot of money, so we have a place to sleep. We have, you know, bathrooms and things of that sort. So we're, we're doing okay. <laughs> we're doing okay. It is actually Lark's birthday. So I want to throw him a party or maybe not throw him a party, but cause we don't really know anybody, but I'm going to get a birthday cake and have him blow the candles out. And then we're going to kind of explore Halloween hideaway a little bit, maybe have the girls go out or, you know, something of that sort. But before we do that, I want to age up Lark really quickly. So let's go ahead. What are you going to do? You're coming over here to snuggle. How cute. But we're going to go ahead and have you or whoever who's blowing. Oh, okay. That was interesting. Who's going to have him blow out the candles? Is it, oh my gosh, is it her? Salem? Salem has been really taking care of him, which is so cute. But all right, I guess she's going to be, I guess she's going to be the one to do the honors. I also finished the rest of Celeste's outfits because I didn't finish hers or Ren's, um, but we we should be good to go now. If you could just get down those stairs, that would be okay, really Okay, so great. she went through the dang stairs as well, and they're getting super romantic over here. As usual, they cannot keep their hands off of each other, which is so funny, but they're adorable. Okay, we're coming over here to blow out the candles and see... Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to turn my, my phone down. Uh, we're going to see what Lark looks like, and hopefully... Hopefully he's not All crazy right, she's looking. blowing out the candles for him. I can't wait to see what he looks like. He is a witch, I believe. I think he's a witch, right? He's not a fairy. Yeah, he's a witch. He's not a fairy. So that's, I was kind of hoping he was going to be a fairy, but that's all right. We can, we can always change it if we want to, but let's see what he looks like. Come on, little man. First of all, can we just like take a moment to look at how beautiful this family is? And uh, we're in the wall. Uh, and where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, you're gonna go. T She's like the mother of the of the whole household, I guess. She's taking care of the kids instead of the moms taking care of the kids. So here, oh, he's got little. Look at this. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. He's got little pointy ears. Did he crap himself? He absolutely did. Of course he did. So here is little man right here. And you know what? He looks just like Sage. Let's take him into create a sim really quickly because he looks like he looks just like Sage. It is insane so to me. I'm going to change his skin tone because for some reason his skin tone is a blue color and I do not know why. Um, but I kind of want him to be the perfect mixture 
of, um, you know, both moms. So let's see what we can kind of do here. Let's kind of go with the, what is first of all going on with, with your hair? Uh, it looks a little weird. Let me put some hair on you because honestly, I'm just, okay, we got, there we go. We got the dark hair. Let's see. Um, cause I feel like he would have, he'd obviously have darker skin because, you know, Poppy is darker skin and I want that to be incorporated because I don't want that to be, you know, I don't want that to not be a part of him because it is a part of him. So we're going to, we're going to go with the darker skin and let's see what kind of hair we can do. Um, I'm not really liking any of these hairs on him to be completely honest. Um, what is this one? He looks like damn Mo Howard from the Three Stooges. What the hell? Uh, let's go. Let's just go with this one. I don't know. We're, we'll go here for now. His little pointy ears are so damn cute. So let's give him some contacts for sure. And then we'll go with some quick outfits and go from there. I definitely want them to go, at least the girls. Maybe I'll have the girls go out. I'm not quite sure uh, what I want, want to happen here, but let's go ahead and change your eye color to that. So you definitely have Poppy's eyes. Um, Poppy's? No, Sage's eyes. You definitely have Sage's eyes. So there's that. Okay, so everyday outfit. What should we do for him? Uh, I don't really have any, like, cute, spooky toddler outfits, I don't think. Um, maybe we could do something like that. That little dark colored shirt. Or what is this? This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Maybe this or the little... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Of course. A little eat pizza. That is too funny. Uh, I might go with, like, this little one here. Like, the Frankenstein monster. Or, and you know what? I like the wolf boy. Let's go with wolf boy. That one is very, very cute. Uh, let's give him some bottoms and we will be good to go. These are my favorite. I always use them. I can't help it. Uh, but... These are kind of cute as well, but I'm definitely going to use these because I just can't help myself. I'm so sorry. I just love them so much. His shoes, um, his shoes could be okay if I recolored them. Let me see if there's any other uh, shoes that we have here. We have those or maybe these if I just recolor them or just use that. We're just gonna, we're gonna just go with that. Uh, should I make this shirt darker? Should I just make the shirt darker? Yeah, let's make it like a dark brown. That's, you know what, we're just gonna, we're gonna roll with it. Nothing matches, it's fine, it's totally fine. I'm skipping the um, fancy wear, formal wear, because we're, we'll probably never see it, but maybe sleepwear, we... I just kinda went with this. Um, for outerwear, that is not gonna work for me. Uh, what about one of these cute little outfits? That's fine, whatever. I'm not gonna be too picky about this. And for shoes, let's see, what are these shoes? I don't even know what those are, to be completely honest. For shoes, let's do some boots like that. Honestly, whatever. I'm not, like I said, I'm not too worried about it. So there is our little Mr. Lark. He is absolutely adorable. I love his little wolf boy shirt. I think it's so dang right. So we're back in business here. We are going to probably have some cake because, you know, they just can't can't help themselves to have some cake. Uh, what is going on with you? You're, you're fine. She changed your diaper. The kiddos are fine. The girls are hungry, but they're going to grab a piece of cake or actually she's just going to entertain the child and you are going to play with magic or something uh you actually need to play with magic oh you're gonna do a love charm on who wait who are you doing the love charm on no let's not let's not do a love charm on anyone because i don't know who, what you're what you're about to make happen but we're gonna have you play with magic she needs to work on alchemy private readings and clientele meet a witch Okay, hopefully we can meet a witch. She wants to potty train a lark. So I'm going to lock that in. And she is going to be working on alchemy. So she wants to create five elixirs, project the aura of creativity. So let's go ahead and have her actually do that. Let's do the aura of creativity. And maybe I'll have her go downstairs and research some alchemy and possibly mix a couple of elixirs. She wants to meet a witch also and visit a graveyard during the full moon. The full moon in Halloween Hideaway is the best thing in the entire world. I need to figure out where we can make a garden. Do we have space? I mean, this is a massive lot. So there's got to be space. We just have to find a flat area if if that is at all possible we might be able to do something like 
back here, which is what I'm assuming we're going to do. But it's winter right now, so we're not going to be able to play into anything. So we're going to have to go to the elixir consignment shop, which maybe I'll have... Maybe that's what I'll have Sage do. Because she does want to go out. She got the opportunity to get a drink somewhere at the blood bank or something. Uh, so Poppy has learned to utilize her fairy form to get those hard to reach places and perform a fairy repair on broken objects. I needed that earlier because she broke the dang shower. So Poppy has also unlocked the aura of body and mind to assist Sims in their training. Okay, and we reached level four alchemy. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So why don't we see, let's see, is she researching? researching and then I'll have her mix a couple of elixirs but I'm gonna have Sage head over to the little okay so this is where she needs to go for a drink but I'm gonna have her first come over here to visit the elixir shop and purchase some things or harvest some things which I don't know if she's actually gonna be able to harvest some things it looks like he's watching his big sister like like she's entertaining him with her little wand how dang cute but we're gonna have her head there and she's gonna work on her stuff here and you guys are gonna oh yeah you wanted to buy a beekeeping box which we will definitely do and you want to go to the vault of antiquity where is the vault of antiquity here oh my goodness here where it is, is it? the vault of antiquity is right here so I'm gonna go ahead and have her maybe research the supernatural since she wants to go visit there and i'll let everybody else kind of stay home right now but okay we just learned the recipe for zombification oh my goodness i still love the fact that this world is a world where you just have to walk everywhere i don't know why i find that just i don't know it's just something about this world that brings me such joy and i'm so happy to be playing in this world and taking you guys along but i really wish that it was not snowing i almost want to take winter away and just have it be summer spring and fall uh but we'll see we'll see if we do that let me know if you guys think we should do that i kind of want to do that i'm not so gonna here lie. is all of the things that we can hopefully harvest uh there's not a whole lot because you know there's there's a whole snow situation going on uh, but we're gonna have her harvest whatever we possibly can and oh, we're going to make something. Okay, what should we have her make? We need an apple for Lean and Mean, which she just learned. We need an insect for zombification. Jar of Discord, it provides a small amount of destruction. Uh, jar of Friendship, let's go ahead and do the Jar of Friendship. Uh, we'll go ahead and create that. And then we can have her come over here and sell it at the Elixir consignment shop because you know we'll make more money that way. Uh, she hasn't, she's just a level one. She hasn't made much money at all. So <gasps> she wants to get married. Yes, we're gonna go ahead and lock that in because I do want the two of them to get married and I cannot wait until it happens. I need to find, there is a cute little like gothic wedding lot and I need to find it. I think it was on the Sims resource, but I'm not sure. I used to have it a long time ago and I want them to get married there because it would just be absolutely, absolutely perfect for the two of them. So that will be coming soon, but we, you know, we gotta get engaged and stuff first. But right now we're just kinda moving into our new town and, and kind of getting to know things and starting our life over because, I mean, we did. We picked up and left everything we knew behind. So we're kind of, we're kind of starting over in this tiny little town and I think this will be absolutely perfect for this family. So it looks like Celeste Grave steps into the Vault of Antiquity and is overwhelmed by the number of books within. There's so much knowledge and it's such a small place. She closes her eyes and reaches for a book. Uh, okay, so let's see. Let's do Vial of Bliss. I feel like she wanted to actually do that maybe not i don't know but she i thought she wanted to make the vial of bliss maybe it was her that wanted to do that no she wanted to create the jar of friendship i think i got them both very confused anyways we're just going to continue uh what is this celeste graves has the opportunity to answer two long-standing questions about vampires why are they always such snappy dressers and why do they like the dark so much which should she research first uh let's go with why why darkness let's, let's have her take a look at that and then we're gonna have her come here and maybe you know consign some things and hopefully get some money i think she only made one yeah she only made one jar of friendship which is 14 simoleons but we can make more if we bring it here so that is Since what we're no gonna other do. supernatural loves the dark so much celeste graves can logically eliminate causes that are shared with other supernaturals okay so she's learning some things can you go away you have been driving me nuts. I thought we, oh, we didn't take, we need to take the celebrity thing. Okay, we're getting closer to the answer. What should she research now? Um, I guess snappy dressers. I'm gonna have to take away the five star. I forgot to take the, the celebrity thing away because when she moved here, the last thing 
thing that she wants to do is have have this this going on. So I'm gonna have to. Remove I went that. ahead and changed all of the celebrity levels because I just do not want that celebrity status. So she's coming over here to play with magic, and we're gonna have Poppy come over, and she's gonna have to actually stop projecting the aura. Let me actually have her stop that right now because she is losing all of her um, her little fairy magic, and we'll have her come back over here to. Go ahead and sell the couple of items and hopefully make a little bit more money. Uh, fortunately, Celeste Graves was unable to solve the mystery of the snazzy vampires. That's all right. We can do it another time. But we're going to have you come over here to the blood bank. And I guess we'll have Poppy head over um, right after as well. Girl, we're not even a celebrity anymore. So leave me alone, okay? <gasps> Look how fancy she looked. Did you guys see her in her dress? She looked right, so Poppy good. Poppy has arrived. So we're going to go ahead and consign the couple of items that we made and hopefully get some sort of promotion. You know, we still need 104 simoleons. Uh, is there anything that we can actually buy here? Because sometimes there's some stuff that will help us out, but it doesn't look like it. So we're gonna go ahead and consign the vial of bliss and the jar of friendship and hopefully get a decent amount of money for that. We're gonna have Poppy head over and kind of have, I guess, a little, a cute little date with Sage. And Sage is over here already getting a drink, isn't she? She's ordering a regular drink, but I need her to order some sort of particular drink. Uh, the Vera's glass of sass for 21 simoleons. Yeah, she, yeah, just, she's like, let me just throw that drink I was making you right away. Yeah, girl, we need, we need something a little fancier, okay? And we're gonna have her, is she hungry? She is. I'll have you order some... Oh my gosh, it's very expensive here. Why don't you get yourself some shrimp cocktail? Because girl, you Look deserve at her it. beautiful girls. Oh my gosh, I love them. <gasps> I love them so much. So she's gonna order this drink, and I guess we're gonna get our little opportunity. I don't know if we get simoleons or what we get. Hopefully, it wasn't. It was probably for her being a celebrity. So I hope we don't like gain a celebrity star. But it's okay. We'll take it off if that is the case. But let's see. Oh, somebody is making a snowman. What are you talking about? You're just discussing philosophy, girl. Okay, whatever. Let's see. Is there anything here that they can kind of do while they're here? There's a chess table. There's, <laughs> this is obviously a vampire lounge. I mean, they can come over here and examine this, but there's really nothing too much for them to do. Maybe I'll add in something so that they have like, I don't know, juice pong or something to do. So she ordered the drink. Does she not get it because of the celebrity? I think that's what it is. I think she's not going to get it because she's no longer a celebrity. So, so that the girls just got to school. One thing I need to do is make sure that they arrive early enough that they can get here since they have to walk everywhere. Uh, and there's like no school bus, so there's no notification. So they're they're pretty late to school, but it is what it is. Also, it is Sage's birthday today. So Sage is going to be a dang adult. And Poppy has her aging up until like 158 days. I don't know how to fix that because I don't want I don't want their ages to be that different. I want them to kind of, you know, be the same age and I don't want it to be 158 days. So I'll probably age Poppy up as well maybe in a few days or something, uh, but I don't know how else to, you know, change that. But anyways, we're just kind of getting our day started and I'll probably throw Poppy's birthday party in the next part because I kind of don't want to do it in this part because I want to actually, you know, have her party and like give her a makeover and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm just going to have her kind of come downstairs. Oh, she's teaching him to walk. I'm going to have her come downstairs and she's hungry. So why don't you eat some food and then work on your elixir uh, consign consignment. Work on your research for elixirs. And I'm hoping that today Poppy's items will sell. Uh, they probably won't get us to 104 simoleons that we need but i you know it'll still be a little bit of a, a little bit of a help here um but i did go ahead and turn off winter so winter will be over in two days and i can't wait because i kind of want that to go away but this part has been kind of all over the place because we're just starting out again like we're literally starting life all over again we have a very empty home but we have a very happy home you know we have our family we have everything that we have wanted 
And I think that that's really all that's going to matter to them is that they, you know, she's no longer in the situation she was in. She's with the person that she wants to be with. And I just, I just think this is going to be a really, really good thing for this family. I think things are going to get really, really good for them. And I cannot wait to kind of see how, how things go and what happens if they have more kids, because I don't know where I'm going to put them, but you know, I think it'll be very, very cute for them to have a huge, huge family and you know we're just gonna have to see where things go everybody's kind of doing their own thing she's pretty upset we need to have her go to the bathroom but what i'm gonna do is go ahead and wrap up this part it was kind of a boring part because we are like i said just kind of starting out and starting over and all of that but i cannot wait to see where this family kind of goes from here i am hoping to have this video up on monday but it might be up on tuesday because i want to create a new thumbnail and everything and i don't want to rush the process so if it is not up on Monday, it will be up on Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video.